Hello dear friends welcome to my Chanel. Today I will speak for you Tim Draper, a leading cryptocurrency advocate and billionaire investor, faced an unexpected backlash during his visit to Sri Lanka. By subscribing to my channel, you can learn more about cryptocurrencies. Sri Lanka rejects Tim Draper's Bitcoin proposal. Tim Draper, a leading cryptocurrency advocate and billionaire investor, faced an unexpected backlash during his visit to Sri Lanka. The Silicon Valley entrepreneur faced backlash in his country for filming an episode of the TV show Meet the Draper and promoting widespread adoption of Bitcoin. According to the report published by Bloomberg, Tim Draper's proposal was not well received by the country's President Ronald Wickramasinghe and Governor Nandalal Wiracing, who is when currently Web focused on stabilizing the country's started, finances. Web three started. But I'll tell you what, Tim we Draper think we're couldn't convince Sri Lanka. In a lot of different ways. During his meeting with Governor Wiracing, Draper insisted on efforts to promote cryptocurrency adoption. He asked whether the management had the courage to undertake such a project and highlighted the benefits of having a private currency. Draper, in his speech expressing his concerns for the country, underlined that the financial crisis is a unique opportunity for Sri Lanka. He argued that the adoption of Bitcoin could help mitigate corruption by keeping an accurate record of transactions. But Governor Wiracing pointed out that other technologies could effectively provide financial services and social assistance payments to underserved populations. He also stated that a country without its own currency cannot have monetary independence, and using Bitcoin in a crisis could potentially make the situation worse. While wearing a Bitcoin tie, Draper spoke confidently, I am coming to the central bank with decentralized uh, really currency. His ideas right were not embraced the during the meeting at the central bank. This was a colder welcome for Draper than elsewhere. For example, the Pacific Island nation of Palau had made him the first person to join the digital residency program. Sri Lankan Economic Crisis Riots broke out in Sri Lanka last year due to fuel and food shortages, causing the then-president to step down and eventually flee the country. The debt-ridden country is now negotiating debt restructuring with foreign creditors in hopes that the International Monetary Fund will devise a bailout plan. The governor reported that inflation was 54.2% and economic growth fell to 8% last year. Cryptocurrency proponents may see such as a utopia for widespread Bitcoin use. One of the most common applications for cryptocurrencies is as a stable store of value that is not subject to shifts in the central bank or government policies. Draper even brought up El Salvador, which has officially recognized Bitcoin as legal tender. However, examples like as El Salvador's narrowly avoided default only last month may serve more as a warning than anything else. However, back in 2021 Sri Lanka deemed crypto solutions a necessity, forming a team to oversee shift.